What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about console sales, who's on top, who's on the bottom, and who could be rising through the ranks. It's very interesting, the video game climate that we're experiencing right now. Nintendo seems to be moving towards the mobile market, Xbox seems to be going towards the Windows market, and Sony seems to have a really firm grip on the home console gaming market. And for all intents and purposes, all three companies seem to really have a, a firm idea on the direction that they want their companies to be going. But when it comes to the home console market, Sony has been dominating, uh, with twice as many consoles sold as the Xbox One and over that for the Wii U, and they are continuing their domination by winning the month of June 2016 per NPD. I'll drop a link in the description. June 2016 NPD PlayStation 4 was a top selling game console. Sony's dominance continues. PlayStation 4 outsold its competition at physical retailers in the US, Sony Interactive has confirmed to GamesBeat. The NPD group who tracks the sales data reported this information directly to Sony. This chains together a winning streak for the PlayStation 4 over the Xbox One and the Wii U that extends all the way back to November 2015. Halo 5 helped Microsoft's device win October 2015. This keeps Sony in a strong position in the console segment of the $99.6 billion worldwide gaming industry. Sony had no statement about the NPD report or its monthly sales beyond confirming its place as number one. June is the start of a slow period for game sales as fewer new releases debut during the summer months. On top of that, both Sony and Microsoft confirm that they are working on updated versions of their systems that are far more powerful. This could convince some stragglers to hold off on purchasing new boxes until those systems hit the market. The Xbox One Scorpio is coming at the end of 2017 and it will focus on 4K gaming. Sony hasn't provided any details about its PS4 Neo other than the fact that it does exist. Finally, the summer slump may hit PlayStation 4 and Xbox One even harder in July than normal as gaming fans rush outdoors to play the blockbuster hit Pokemon Go. That GPS-powered location-based game puts the titular pocket monsters in the real world using augmented reality, and it is shot to the top of the mobile gaming charts faster than any other app in history. This could distract gamers from spending their cash on more traditional game releases. So there's a lot of interesting news in this little, little story here. I want to start with Nintendo. Pokemon Go seems to be a phenomenon. Everyone I know is playing it. I have not tried it once. I have seen the app. I have seen my daughter and my wife going crazy uh, collecting these things. And of course, uh, Pokemon Go is all over the news for some nefarious reasons and some people really love it. So Nintendo appears to have a real hit on their hands in the mobile market. Uh, and this is kind of the direction that they said they wanted to go. Everybody was kind of down on it, including myself, uh, thinking that uh, their little um, Miitomo game was going to be a you know not that strong of a game which I don't think that one was but they definitely hit gold here with the Pokemon Go app so that would definitely distract some people who would be more traditional console based gamers in the future. Now as far as the Xbox goes the Scorpion is on the horizon but Microsoft has also pivoted towards moving their games to the Windows 10 platform so people who may be potential Xbox One fans and people who may support the hardware don't have as much of a reason to buy the Xbox One right now as uh, Microsoft's Play Anywhere initiative takes place, so that would definitely, I believe, have some effect on the future of the Xbox One sales. And PlayStation, uh, as they've proven time and time again for the last almost year, they know about the home console space, and for all intents and purposes, they run that shit. And this is just more proof of that. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Sony wins NPD from November 2015 all the way until now, with the PlayStation 4 continuing to uh, sell like hotcakes. Nintendo's got some great stuff coming, apparently. They know what they're doing with the mobile space. Uh, hopefully, it's not a one-hit wonder, and who knows what will happen with Microsoft in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, Carl.